Hello everybody and welcome to Visually Interesting Games. This is part 13 of the Banished playthrough. So far so good, although we seem to be collecting a few deaths from old age. One from a work related incident and old age, so completely out of our hands. Which is good, we haven't lost anyone through starvation, freezing, tornadoes, fires or any crazy stuff going on like that. So hopefully that continues. We've got a good amount of people coming up. Actually we've lost some adults, but we've gained five students and we've got 16 children still. So let's get it underway and see what's going on in the village. So last time we stopped the church from being built. We made all the farms active and got all of our orchards up and running as well. We've decided... what was it that we decided to do? Um, oh yeah, we needed two more houses because there's people going around without homes and it's coming to late summer and we cannot afford to have people without houses in late summer because they'll just die off. Problem we have at the moment, we haven't got any logs so we can't really build any of the houses which is a bit of an issue. We've got plenty of stone, that's going good. We need some iron as well, although houses don't require iron so that's not too much of a problem. It's down here, we've only got two, because at the moment we've only got two labour or four labourers now, I suppose, if we not, don't include the builders as well. Um, but this, it just seems too far away from everything, really. I, th I feel like we should probably... Right, if we take out that entire area there, like just, just the wood, let's just get the wood there. This area is a little bit awkward to get to because they have to pass around the mountain, so that's, that's a bit of an annoyance. Here's okay because they've got a stockpile fairly close, so they can just go up there, chop it, bring it back down, and then it's pretty close to get into the houses, and they can they can then build the houses up. So that's okay. The woodcutters are doing their job as best they can. I've given them a limit of 500, but they're never going to reach that with the current state of the log issue. I think this year I went a bit mad and put too many people on the farms, but I was a little bit worried that the amount of food has gone down to this low. This is the lowest it's been since since forever. We were getting around... Well, I'd say we were getting around 5,000 to 6,000 food every year, almost consistently throughout the year. But for some reason we dropped down to 1,600. I think the population has risen far too much. But not only has it risen too much, but we've run out of homes for this person here. Arret, poor old Arret. The trouble with Arret run out of his home is that we've got one idiot in here, Hobarton, who decided that he would have a house all to himself. I don't know how to solve this issue, I was tempted just to knock the entire house down so he is lost without a house and hopefully build another one and Arret can then move in with Hobarton or whoever he chooses. I mean, if I was Arret, I would stay well away from Hobarton because he seems like a some kind of benefit for all type person. Look at him, he's got a nice little council house all to himself when there's other people homeless out on the streets that are doing a, putting in a good day's work. And Hobart and he's probably not even he's probably not even cutting stone. I mean where where is he? That's Clarkin. Where's Hobarton? See look he's not even he's not even here. He's not even he's not even on the on the quarry. So how he can justify anything, I don't know. Layman, Antin, Thally, Arland, they're all, they're all working, they're all working hard. And Arret, who's a labourer, chopping down trees and doing all good stuff like that, just isn't, isn't doing anything. I'm sort of wondering actually, is Hobarton even stuck inside his house? Because I, how do I find where he is. How can I find Hobarton? Oh, there he is. He is actually working. I reckon he just... I reckon someone gave him a whistle and just said, right, get down there, the governor's watching you, so... Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. Right. They're chopping this down up here now. Right, let's, let's give this ultimate priority up here. This can be... this is priority up here. You don't do anything else except that right. This farm, one, two, three, four, off of there. We'll put them onto here. Um, wait, let's put that on. One, two, three, four. That's good. Um, harvest that. 
come on, before the before the snow hits, we want to harvest that. Right, good, you're doing good. Let's speed it up to five. Right, we're on 3,400 now. The food is going up with the harvests. Which is a bit of a relief. I was a bit worried that we was, we was outgrowing ourselves a bit. We've got plenty of people being born and students creating now, so hopefully we'll get a load more... I don't know, people doing better stuff generally. Got our tavern, that still hasn't been built. Happiness isn't an issue, health isn't really an issue either. Alright, so they've almost done. What is this? Firewood. I wish there was a way you could turn that off because I know about firewood by now. Alright, one, two, three, four. Let's take them off of there just so we can make sure this food is constantly going through. Let's put them four on there. I feel like I think I should have another gatherer's heart. I mean, look how much it. Oh, well, <laughs> it's not bringing in much. I've had it so it brings in a thousand food before, but that must have been a very good season. Hunter's cabin as well, not doing, not doing brilliantly. All right, let's take them off of here. Four off there. Come on, get the yield in before the the winter sets in. Yeah, this is more like it. Back to five thousand five hundred food. Right, work that one. They're all going off as labourers now. Wood should start going up soon, I think. So we've got one person on there, one person on there. One, two, three. One person on there. This is still going. Come on, get this in before the winter. This is what I want to see. I want to see 5,000 odd food going towards 6,000 almost all the time, basically. Almost all the time I want to see that number. Right, so it's winter now. They've... well, almost winter, but I think they, they're they just lucky. They've just got that in in time. Alright. So everyone's a labourer. We can get all of this wood chopped down. We've got plenty of stone, we've got enough iron, I think, to get us through for now. What is this, a forest lodge? No, I want to chop it down. So let's collect all of that there. Let's start thinking about chopping it all down here as well. Keep going to that tree icon to chop it down. Alright, let's clear that out there. This region can be done first, and then this region down here. Firewood, or oh, logs, okay, fair enough. The trouble with having these three is that as quickly as I get logs in, they start to, they take them, look, they require five, I oh, know he had that five logs in it. Another person's died of old age, Brita. Always seems to be the, the sort of farmers or gatherers that die. I wonder how Croc's getting on. He's he's getting on a little bit old Croc. There's too many people in these houses there. There's gonna be some issue soon. There's gonna be a fight. Oh Chandy. By himself. Maybe he can move in with Hobarton. Maybe what happened was people died who were with them. Although Hobarton never had anyone with him from the very beginning, but he looks like he's gonna die soon. I think that'll be a that'll be a happy day for the village to be to be honest. Food's already dropping down. It's getting a bit touch and go. Um, maybe I'll get another farm. Can I get another farm in here? Yeah, brilliant. Right, another farm in there. We'll pause that. Yep, yeah, great firewood's low. We know that already. This area was meant to be more of a housing area, but it's turned into a bit of a graveyard farm church region, to be honest. Mainly chopped it all down for the the school. Right, they're back to they're back to freezing again. What's that? There are citizens without homes. Is this Annette again? Arret. Yeah, he's still he's still going strong. That guy. He doesn't. He doesn't give up easily, that one, I tell you. Good old Arret. I feel like it's all getting a little bit out of control at the moment, to be honest. Population is 
getting more so the food seems to be not the food doesn't seem to recover in it as much as it used to oh sweet okay but also at the same time I need to build more houses for the population I do have because we're running out of homes but of course more houses means more people again and when if I put a town centre down soon I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have nomads nomads trying to turn up and get citizenship and stuff so that's not gonna be any good that won't be doing me any favours either So I'll have to see how it goes. I'm not sure how people get it to be in 300 population. I can't even get it up to 100 without struggling at the moment. But it is all a learning curve. Right, it looks like they're doing good up here. Right, it's late winter. Okay, so we got through that pretty easily, to be honest. Although I don't, I don't want to say that too often. Let's take them all off of here. If I just plot, actually, the cutting is probably helping towards the wood gathering situation. If I tell all labourers to do this area down here now, this is priority land. Alright, let's just make sure we don't include anything except for the trees. And then we are going to, well, reallocate our farms. This one definitely. Um, right, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, I think I'm going to risk it this year with just enough people. Ah, oh, this is going well actually. Right, I'll turn that up to four, I think. No, I can't afford that. There's not enough people. I'll have to turn both of these down to one. I'm going to have just three farms going. These two orchards should hopefully bring in something. But I, haven't, I won't have enough labourers otherwise. Right, there's two more houses built. That's good. Right, they're both finished. Aret has now got a home to live in. More students, more students than children now. I see, so the the schoolhouse runs out of space eventually. Interesting, I didn't realise that. Who are these people? Without jobs? Gatherers? Oh, I know what I've done. One, two, and hunters, I assume, as well. One, two, right. I always seem to decrease this when I want this to be maximum. Shad? Oh, good old Shad. He's a student as well now. Right, what's this person doing? Without a job, farmer. Right, let's put it down then, let's put it down. You can be a labourer. Just closed my menu down again. Can't get rid of this thing. Right, ten labourers, they should be... Right, I've cleared that, there's some stone up there. I should bear that in mind in the future. Should be chopping trees down here. Hopefully, that. yep, they're storing it here as well. It's really nice and clear And when you zoom in. I really like the, the nice, bright, contrasting colours. When you zoom out, it goes a little bit, a little bit misty. It's an okay effect for obviously going above the clouds and so that sort of thing, but it's nice to be zoomed in a bit more actually, I should do that more often. Just this is a get a nice nice view of the overall village, so that works quite well. But I'll zoom in a little bit, get some nice colours colours on the screen. I oh, use our physician actually, he's quite important, the hospital guy. Didn't know that. Maybe I shouldn't He's doing a good job actually, no one's died of disease yet, maybe I shouldn't give him a um, such a hard time. How's the tools going? 40. That's okay, I told him to get 300 but he's never going to get 300. Not the rate he makes tools anyway. And not at the rate that these guys chop wood and get the iron. Stone is, there's so much stone now. This must be doing its job. 
Is there another way? I know, like, obviously you can get iron from the mine, can't you? Um, I'm wondering if I might take this down to five. Because we've got enough stone at the moment. They don't need to be working it, and they can just work as labourers in this region here. If I just make sure that I prioritise the area again, just to make sure everyone is working on it enough. Although, they're going to run out of stuff to chop soon, so if we just give them another section like that. That's going quite good down there. Farms are going well. Another person's died of old age. Elena. What was Elena a farmer? Yep, they're all they're all starting to starting to die. I've had five deaths so far. Four of old age. One crushed by stone. Some people there paying their respects, walking through the church that hasn't been built yet. And then getting back on with the farming. Okay, another adult. Didn't become a student. Maybe the educational route wasn't for her. How's the wood chopping going? I should be getting all of this. And then getting all of this as well. Haven't affected this area, have we? No, I think that I will set this just to... Just to plant, to build it up. My god, look at the deer down here. Look at them, this is, this is a region for a, a hunting lodge, I think. The mushrooms and herbs as well. Maybe I'll put down one of these foresters and start planting some trees down here, actually. Might be an idea. Apologies for the, the knocking on the mic there, I'll just scratch my nose and knock the mic. Let's get. A, oh, oh no, not one of these little irritations. I hate that. I hate that so much. Um, would this be able to have some houses? Yeah, we can fit houses in here. Let's pause it for a second. Actually, I don't. I don't really know why I'm thinking about building houses when I. I can't even afford really to build the ones I have. Right, the church. The church could be built actually. What's going on? Let's put four people on the church. They can they can build the church. Is there anything else that I've set to build? No, just just a church. So that'd be good. Oh wait, 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 wait. Have they reached Oh my god, they've reached their limit. Oh, amazing. Okay, um, keep keep going. Just keep going to a thousand. Oh, this is coming, starting to come together now, I think. Oh, the food. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, everything else seems to be going good, but the food is just dropping. We seem to be getting too many... Too many people are being born. Maybe they can all sort of go to prayer and fast for a couple of weeks and do that sort of thing while we store up the food for them. Definitely need a few more people to die, I think. Solve this food crisis that we've got going on. Alright, let me just prioritise again. Prioritise here. They don't seem to be very good at working out their own priorities. Our food's going back up again, just in time, I think. Oh, someone else was crushed by a rock. Who's this this time? Norman Dolph. Oh, I can't believe it. Poor old Norman Dolph. Crushed by a rock at the peak of his life. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried, actually, about this food issue now. I don't really know what more I can do. I need Maybe I need to get some more hunting lodges up and running. Perhaps it's time for a bridge across here. A bridge could be useful. Right, let's get a bridge from there. 
to there. And then I can get a road going like this. Right, that's useless there. Can't really go anywhere around. Right, um, stop that from working. Remove four for there. And get everyone working on this and this. Ah, oh, I know what it was. Oh, I've kept people in the fishing docks all summer. You know, that may have been the reason why the food just stayed above its amount. I mean, this is a worry. We've had three crops, all of them have taken the food in, and we've still only got 1,200 in it. It's just dropping down by 100, even though they're still harvesting. It just keeps dropping. 900, 800? They, they literally cannot harvest it as quick as people are eating it. Right, no one's working the church. Let's get the church working. We're freezing. I don't know how... See all that firewood that they just stored? The 500. Already 300 of it. Already gone. Already made. Not used. Burnt up. And so some people are starting to freeze, I think, as well. Right, what's this? Blacksmith. He's run out of iron, so he can't make any tools. Um, I was thinking this one was going really well as a playthrough, but I'm beginning to think now that something very bad is happening. Alright, I'm going to set them to collecting the iron as well, because that's definitely a requirement. And I'm going to call that the end of episode 13. So, thank you guys for watching and continuing to watch the series and support what is going on on the channel. And I shall hopefully see you in the next episode. Goodbye.